Today we're going big. We're not going small. I decided we're going to do four $100 Funko Pop mystery boxes from Toy USA. They're not just one, there are four $100 boxes each. So, hopefully I have some good luck. These four boxes were a part of Toy USA's uh, Funko Pop Damage Mystery Box of Four Pop that they released on July the 12th. Guaranteed value of $100 per box, guaranteed value. And this is a damage mystery box, so some of these pops could be really heavily damaged. But most aren't, you know, too bad, but there can be some, you know, that are, yeah. But there actually were some decent hits in this. You could get out the Golden Frieza, Metallic Beerus, couple of the original Ghost Riders, Indiana Jones, Disney Parks exclusive, Butthead, the original Scar, Tony Montana, Captain Spaulding. I mean, there are some, actually some pretty decent hits in this, in this mystery box that you could get out. So for 100 bucks, guaranteed value, only did 60 boxes, you pretty much have a, like, one in four chance, I think, of getting out one of the pictures from the main picture, or a pop from the main picture. So, we're just going to get into these things, crack them open, let's see what I got. Let's see, they're probably going to do it upside down, ah, who cares. But I say, oh, we do it upside down, try to keep the mystery factor longer, but... We'll just crack them on top. Why not? So Toy USA, I usually have the best luck with their damaged boxes, it seems like. The higher price point that I go, like the $300 boxes, $200 boxes, I usually don't do well with those. I usually do best with their $100 damaged mystery boxes. They're cheap boxes. So comes bubble wrapped on top. Let me get this bubble wrap back. We'll go one at a time and see some values. This has a one and a soft protector. Three and not soft protectors. First one, we've got Tyrion Lannister, Game of Thrones. This is the first Tyrion Lannister that they came out with. That's actually a pretty good one. Uh, July of 2013 it came out. So this is actually a pretty decent one. And I just started watching Game of Thrones recently. We're now on season four and I've right, as of right now, Tyrion is my favorite character on the entire show. Like, that dude is awesome. Tyrion is awesome. Next, we've got Star Wars Plo Koon. Walgreens exclusive. So, box on this. Oh, I should look at the box damage. There's like a very small crease on top on that one. The Tyrion has like a little little ripple in the box right there but the uh, both boxes i'd say are like eight out of ten condition maybe, maybe a close to nine. Third one no protector the flash this one does have a good crease on the back of it right here flash number two third oh crease in the front too yeah so this one does have a little oh crease in the side yeah this one does have some pretty good damage on it crease there crease on the top crease on the front Boxes of tear right there on there. Big crease in the back where somebody put their thumb in there to pop it open. Yeah, that's got some damage to it. So here we go. The one that's in the soft protector. Let me find the back. There's the back. So you ready? Oh, we got the Indiana Jones. That is one of the top hits to get out. Boom. Got a top hit. So if you look at the picture, Indiana Jones, I think, was uh, the second row. This is possibly like the third, maybe fourth best one to get out of all of these mystery boxes. Let's see condition on this. See what it looks like. See if this thing's damaged or not. Just by looking at it, it doesn't look bad. Box so far looks... The box is in good shape. I, good it's not like perfectly like mint 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 but it just has like normal just it's not even shelfware like I'd say this thing is honestly probably like 9.5 out of 10 condition it would sell for full PPG value so yeah even has a Disney Parks 
$20 price tag on the bottom of it right there. So that's a that's a fantastic hit right there. One of the top ones to get out of all of these boxes. That's why I bought four of these because it had some decent hits out and you had guaranteed value. So let's see what I, how much this first box is worth. So Indiana Jones, this is the Temple of Doom edition. Came out in 2016. It's worth a PPG value of $155. So, and this box is pretty much, I mean, it's almost mint condition. It's its like 9.5 out of 10 condition. It's fantastic conditions. That's how we started a mystery box right there. So this flash is worth $7. Came out in 2015. It's worth an entire seven bucks. It's pretty banged up. It's pretty banged up. So, uh, like I'd say, like I'll probably sell this thing locally for like four, four dollars. Is worth a whole eight bucks. Had a little little crease on top, knock off like a dollar, so it's worth about seven bucks. Then we got the Tyrion Lannister, released in 2012. It's only worth six bucks. That's it, really. I guess it's not vaulted yet, so they're so like they're actually they're probably still making them. Then if they're if it's not vaulted, they can still make them. This did have the scarred version. This is not the scarred version. The scarred version is worth like $700. Tyrion. So the first box taken off uh, percentages for damage, worth about $166. So that's not bad. I bought it for 100 bucks. It's worth 166. I'm gonna try to keep a running tally going to see, you know, how well I do. But yeah, first box. I hit, I think, probably like the, the third top hit to get out of all 60 boxes. So that's a good first box. Number two, let's keep this thing going. Let's get out of like, the top grail, which was, I think, the, the Beerus and the Frieza. Let's get a top one out. Why not? Shoot for the moon. But we're up on top. If I can get that pulled back. There is nothing in a soft protector in this box. That stinks. So here we go. So there's no big hits in this. Then it's probably, they're all probably like $20, $30 pops then. First one, we've got Roger Rabbit. Smarty Weasel. This was a 2014 pop. Let me see if that was a uh, page one pop or not. And no. It still has the sticker on the back of it from when it was originally sold for $11.99. Its nose has caused some damage to the front of this because somebody had some weight on top of this for a while and just uh, it got pushed into it. But box condition, it's like 9 out of 10. Next, Breaking Bad, Walter White. I know that one's vaulted. Box condition on this. Oh, it does have a small little crease right there. Come out in 2014. Good shape, just has one small little crease just right there. But yeah, that's a decent one. Next, we got Lilo and Stitch. There's a crease in the back of it. Hot Topic Diamond exclusive. Box is good except for it has a crease in the back of it. I'm not sure I'll be able to see it or not. Not bad. And last one, Dragon Ball Z. We've got Gohan. Funko Insider Club, Go Gohan, Gohan. I never watched Dragon Ball in my life, so I mispronounced their names almost every single time. Box is mint. Let's see values on this one. 18 bucks, PPG value. The Stitch Diamond is worth $22. Walter White, a 158. It is worth PPG value of $30. Last one, it's Smarty Weasel, came out in 2014. A vaulted, full PPG value is 30 bucks. Does have damage to the front clear uh, cover because of the nose. I gotta say it's probably about twenty-five dollars. So after going through all four, knocking off a little bit of value because of damage, because you can't get full PPG if the boxes are damaged, it's worth ninety-three dollars. I think I knocked off five dollars here. I knocked off I think two dollars on the stitch. So I saw I knocked off a total of seven dollars. Actually, yeah, if you put that in, that's exactly $100, so 
Ooh, Toy USA did not take off any value for damage in this box, or if they did, the prices on one of these just dropped down like five bucks, or a couple of them dropped a few dollars in, in the past, you know, week since they made these. But I mean, it's it's pretty close. But once you take damage into account, I mean, it's it's only worth like I'm being pretty conservative about ninety three dollars. But the first box, though, I got it a Grail, so. I mean, you can't really say, well, but your first box, you, you got a grail. I did, and that's that's fantastic. But uh, if you only bought the one box and that's what you got, and with the damage, it's not worth full, it's not worth the full guaranteed value. So Toy SA missed that. In my opinion, they missed guaranteed value on that box. So like any company that I buy from with mystery boxes, if, if there's a guaranteed value, and if it's not met, I let you guys know, you know, value... Guaranteed value was not met. Man, they, they put too much tape on these. There. Number three. Come on, soft protector. No soft protector. So we got another box with now any big hits in it. They're all going to be like between 20 and 30 bucks a pop. That kind of stinks, but hopefully the last box has a soft protector in it. First one. Oh, we got a Daenerys Targaryen. I always butcher her first name. Like I said, I like we just started watching Game of Thrones. We're on season four. It has like a small little crease, like the same as the Tyrion. It must have come from the same case, I bet. But yeah, this is honestly this is probably be worth about full PPG value because it's just like it's just almost like a box blemish. But yeah, we got the Mother of Dragons first one. Next, we got Elvira Pop. Hot Topic exclusive, the Elvira Mummy Pop. There is a crunched corner on this one. Not too bad, but it does have a little bit of corn. Yeah, I mean, it's it's got a little bit of corner damage on it. That's going to knock off probably. has a small crease down here. I guess going to knock off, I'm going to say, 10% of value. It's not bad, bad, because it's all on the back of the pop, so you can't see it whenever you display this thing in the box. I'd say about 10% value you have to knock off. Next, we've got Futurama. Oh, cool, Bender. 2015 at Summer Convention exclusive. This is like a metallic version, too. Bender Futurama. That's a cool one. Box has like a small little blemish in the bottom right there. That probably actually won't hurt value much. Maybe, maybe like a dollar. Last one. The Walking Dead, we got Carol. We got a bloody Carol. That one's awesome. Yeah, I actually will keep this one because I'm going to try to get this one autographed by the actress that plays Carol. Her name slips, slips my mind right now. Uh, looks like it has a little bit of damage on top of the box from, looks like a box cutter. Whenever, whoever had to store, they opened up the box with the box cutter. They nicked the top of the box a little bit. Uh, Sorry, that box is in good shape. Like I say, that's probably knocks about 10%. But yeah, we got Bloody Carol. But yeah, I will be keeping that one to try to get that one autographed in the future because this lady who plays Carol, she does lots of Comic Cons, so I will be able to get that thing signed. Cool. Let's see some values. So we got Bloody Carol. Came out in 2014. Hot Topic exclusive. It's missing a Hot Topic sticker. Um... It's worth $19 PPG, but with some damage on top right there. And it's missing the sticker. i say it's worth about $15. We got the Bender. This is exclusive to the Hot Topic 2015. Box this thing was pretty much almost mint. I think it had a small blemish on it somewhere at the very bottom. Full PPG value of $35. We got Elvira Mummy. Came out in 2017. Hot Topic exclusive. Corner damage. It's worth the full value of $15. But I mean, it's it's got some pretty good corner damage right there, crease right there. I mean, you got knock off probably at least twenty percent, so I got knock off about three dollars. So I say worth about twelve dollars. Daenerys Targaryen, um, vaulted twenty fourteen, full PPG value of thirty four dollars. Condition on this thing, I mean, it was it had like a small blemish on it some somewhere, very oh right here, very very small. That's worth pretty much full PPG value. So after uh, looking up all four pops and taking off value for damage, it comes out to $96. The two I took off damage for, that would put it at over $100. So I don't think Toy USA took off 
any value for damage to these pops. They gave the damage pops full PPG value. And, uh, ooh, I don't really agree with that. Given, let me see what the terms of service says. It says, uh, boxes will have damage to them and weren't acceptable to use in our standard Grail mystery box. Some have major damage, some have minor damage. Best for out of box collectors. Uh, each box is valued at least $100 at the time they prepackaged them. So they did not say in the terms of service that they gave each pop full PPG value. It doesn't say that they took off because of damage, you know, for the PPG value. So since terms of service does not say either way, then, you know, pretty much then they could just give damage pops full PPG value. You can't really do much about it then, but yeah, I don't agree with that because it's if it's damaged, it's not worth full PPG value. But, you know, it's pretty close. $96, it's almost there. But it's not, but it's almost there. But I grade my boxes condition-wise pretty strictly because I resell these things. So if it's damaged, I will never be able to resell them for full PPG value. You, you can't do it. People won't pay full value for damaged pops. So that's why whenever companies sell mystery boxes, damaged mystery boxes, and they don't take off value for the damage. It's kind of misleading because it's not worth full PPG, you know. But anyway, I'm not trying to be a complainer or a ranter, but yeah. So a total of 60 boxes, you had a one in four chance of getting like a uh, one of the top 15 boxes out. So I bought four, and I've got one of the you know I, I've already beat or matched the odds by getting out one box that had like a uh, picture one like hit in it. So, by the odds, it worked out perfectly. Will I get a second box with the picture one hit in it? Hopefully. It's always fun whenever you do. Last box. Okay, it's got a soft protector. There's a soft protector. So this will be one of the page one boxes. Kale, here we go. And it has a two-pack in there also. Let's do the first one without a soft protector first. We got Goku and Flying Nimbus. Dragon Ball. Condition. Crease on the back. It has tape on it right here also. That's strange. Oh, because the box came apart. The box came apart here. So they put a piece of tape on it to hold the box together. Okay. That really hurts the value right there. Next, let's do the dual pop. Batman versus Superman. Glow in the dark. That's a cool one. I've never seen this one in person. Walmart exclusive. Batman Superman glows in the dark. Box condition. It's good. Both sides are still taped. It's never been opened up. But there's those two. That's cool. And here's the one in the soft protector. Which hit did I get? Is it the top hit? Is this is it the Beerus? Is it the Frieza? Let's find out. No! Are you serious? I got the metallic Beerus out. Cool! <laughs> I was hoping for one of those top two hits, and I got one. Awesome! That's what I'm talking about. So yeah, top two hits were the Golden Frieza 2015 uh, Comic-Con exclusive, and then the metallic uh b -Rest 2016 comic-con exclusive so i bought four boxes i got a first picture top row hit and a first picture second row hit so that's fantastic i did i did i did well with these i did well very pleased with these four mystery boxes let's see condition from this thing is mint that's cool side there's a small crease in the back of it right here. If you can see, if I get the glare to hit it, right here. I can't tell my camera screen if you can see it or not. Looks like it just has a it has like a small crease in the back of it. The sides are good, the front's good, the top's good. The window's not scratched up, it has a small crease right there on the back. That's not bad. Like that's not bad at all. Not bad. Let's see some values. 2016 Metallic Beerus. 
2016 at San Diego Comic Con exclusive. It has worth the full PPG value of $195 if it's in mint condition. The box has a small flaw in the back of it. You probably knock off maybe like 20% value, or not 20, like maybe as high as 10%. Like I say, this thing's honestly probably worth about 175 with that small crease in the back of it. I'd knock off like 20 bucks because that, that's actually what I'm going to charge for it, like locally, and it should sell. But yeah, that's cool. About 175 right there. The Batman vs. Superman Glow in the Dark 2 pack, Walmart exclusive, is worth the whole $11. Not worth much, but it's a cool pop though. And Goku flying Nimbus. This box literally has fallen apart. It's it's taped together and it's worth the value of 10 bucks. This is pretty much, this is an out of box pop because the box literally has fallen apart. The glue is gone. You could glue it back together, I guess though, but I'd say this thing's worth about, honestly like five bucks because the box is completely falling apart and taped together. So these three pops, the Duel, the Goku, and the second best hit out of all these boxes worth a total of $191. That's after taking off uh, value for damage. If I did it, that's worth another 20, that's, that's another five. So like they would be counting this box at about 200 and what, $15 or so is what they would count at full PPG, which I take off value for damage. Worth about 191. That's almost double back on that one box. So all four boxes, after looking up all the values, even taking off percentages for damage, I spent 400, I got back $546 from the Toy USA $100 damaged mystery boxes. And out of the two boxes, I got out pretty much like the second best hit and the third best hit out of the entire 60 box run. So that was some good luck right there. So the other two did not meet guaranteed value by a few dollars, but the other two were way over guaranteed value because of the second and third top hits out of the entire run of mystery boxes. So this was fun. Um, like, I've, like I've already said, I do my best with Toy USA damaged mystery boxes. I get the best hits out, out of their damaged boxes. Whenever I buy ones that are just a normal $100, $200, $300 with only like 50% guaranteed value, I don't do well with those. I don't. I never really have. Once in a blue moon, I'll get out something good, but usually I lose money on every single one of those. The damaged mystery boxes, I've got now like the best hits. I've gotten out the top grails, second top grails, third top grails, multiple times in the damaged mystery boxes. But keep in mind though, I don't just buy one. I'll buy four, I'll buy eight, I'll buy 10. So the odds for me to get out a top hit is much higher than just buying one. I know some people sometimes People get mad because you know I get out like you know like the top hit or one of the top hits, and they get mad about it. Ooh, almost dropped Beerus. They get mad about it, but he's 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 in a protector. But I always let them know, you know, you bought one box for 100 bucks. I bought these for 400. I've got four more down there from the previous one, four more. So my odds of getting out a top hit are eight times better than what the odds are if you only buy one box. So. But you gotta remember, I lose on a lot of these boxes. So whenever I do get a, a good box out, it's kind of a relief because I don't lose money this time. But I do these boxes purely for YouTube content. Do not buy a mystery box if you cannot afford to lose your money. Getting more in value than what you paid isn't normal with mystery boxes. You, you, you're usually lucky just to get your money back. Once in a while, you'll get out more than what you paid. But not always, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, I'll see you next time. Funko Bad Guy, out. Perfect. Perfect.